All right, seven of code, day 11. Everything increases by one. Good day. Uh, so, what's going on here? Um, so we have this grid, and we need to follow these rules, basically. So every cell increases by one. All the cells that are 10 flash, which is this recursive operation where when you flash, uh, you become like done for the moment, and every cell around you, the eight cells around you, so including diagonal neighbors, Increase by 1, and if they go up to 10, then they also flash. Uh, and so you just keep doing this, you know, as long as stuff is happening. Uh, and then at the end, everyone who flashed goes back to 0. Um, 
So like once you flash during this process, you're done, right? You can't increase anymore. Um, and you go back to zero. Uh, and so part one is just do this a hundred times and count how many flashes occur. Uh, yeah, so it's a pretty straightforward implementation of this idea, right? So first read in the input um, and then just like follow the steps. Uh, okay, I'll modify it to do I guess that's part one. Uh, so go through all the octopuses and increment them by one. Then go through all the octopuses, and if they're 10, add them flash. Uh, and then go through all the octopuses, and if they flash, reset them to zero. OK, so I guess the complicated part is this flash step. So increase the number of flashes by one. Uh, set our cell to negative one. So negative one means like already flashed this round. And then for each of our eight neighbors, well, I'm also counting 0, 0, which is a ninth neighbor, but that's okay, because he's negative 1, and we're ignoring people who already flashed, you know, including ourselves. So anyway, calculate, you know, take the coordinates of our neighbor. If he's inside the grid and he didn't already flash, increase him by 1, and if he has size 10, then have him flash as well. Uh, so, yeah. And this is just what they told us to do, right? Increase all adjacent by 1, if that causes it to have grid level greater than 9, that is 10, then it flashes. Uh, and this continues, right, this can just keep going. Um, but, you know, once you, once you flash, you become negative 1 until uh, sort of the end of the flash step. And then you go through all the negative 1s and convert them back to zeros. Um, and so part 1 asks us, just, you know, do this 100 times. How many flashes did you get? Uh, in our case, we got 1785 flashes. Uh, just simulating it. And then in part two, uh, we want to know when they all flash at the same time. Uh, so what I've done is just, as I'm going through the resetting stage, check if any of them didn't flash. Uh, and if so, you know, we're not, right? So optimistically assume that they all flash at the same time. If you find any that didn't flash, then OK, that didn't actually happen. And when that happens, print out T. And break. Uh, so this prints out, you know, part one and part two. Um, so yeah, I guess we just needed to uh, just needed to implement the like directions basically. Um, this recursive flash function is is maybe the key. Uh, and like setting things to negative one that already flashes around, so we don't end up with an infinite loop. Uh, yeah, we got second on both parts. Obviously, super great day. Um, about all there is to say about a lot. See you tomorrow.